gun hook. Uh, I have a 12. Okay, you start off just laying a thread base down. Take the thread past the point of uh, of the barb on the shank. Because you want this fly to look like a, uh, a caddis pupa resting, and they tend to curl up. So you're down on the hook shank. Thanks. So you start out when you tie in this this uh, nymph skin, you have to trim it, otherwise the tail comes out just too bulky to work with. So, I found that if you just taper it from one side up, it works just as well as trying to trim it to a point. But the cut side facing you. Sure that you secure this. Once you get it tied in, bring it back up to the point where the body will end and your thorax will start. When you start wrapping this, you're going to let the latex flip over. put quite a bit of tension on here because you want this to be very fine again as you wrap forward you go about half the width of the previous wrap and as you come forward you relax the tension You look back here, I have three wraps and I have three ridges. Okay? You just keep working forward and relax with each, each wrap that you make. Okay. Now, when you get up to that point, wrap it off. Of course, the body would end and the thorax would begin. Now, take a couple of wraps to hold it in place. And you work this around until you can pull the nymph skin back and it holds parallel to the hook shank. Does that make sense to everybody? Because you're not going to trim it off. This is going to be your wing case. Yeah. Yeah. Pull it up. And hold it. Take two. Never one turn. Two. Three or four turns. Here. Everybody have a partridge feather. Yeah. Take your feather. Yeah. I'm gonna go past tomorrow. Give me some Mitchell. Strip off the fluff. Clean it up. This is going to be the legs. You tie it in by the tip with the concave side up. Strip all the fibers back. And they should be even, which these are not. You take the tip of the feather and you tie that in. This will be buried underneath the thorax.
Make sure your concave side is up. That's not the stem of the feather, that's the tip. That's the other the tip. Well, you pull it off, it's not just down. Trim it off. So from the bottom up, you have the tag end of your nymph skin. Laying on top of that, you have the partridge feather, concave side up. Do I see it? We're going to dub in the thorax. Okay, once you get to that point, you got your feather tied in, pull it forward, stroke the fibers back. And you get them clean. At this point, you should have barbels sticking out each side. Oh, what the heck's this? Looks like a keeper. No. Trim off. Pour your nymph skin over the. And it hang over the eye of the hook. So you don't pull on it, no tension on it. Tie it down. <coughs> Okay, you pull it over. Okay, once you get it pulled over and tied in, pull it up, put quite a bit of tension on it, because when you cut it, it's going to pull it back in underneath the, the uh, thread wraps. At this point you can trim off all of the, uh, the wayward feather barbels. Whip finish the head. Trim the thread. Take your Pantone pen or your Sharpie marker and color just the top of the fly. If you stroke the pen from the back to the front, you're going to color those segments darker than if you go the opposite direction.